which of the following is considered plagiarism submitting a paper written by someone else as your own self plagiarism refers to reusing your own previously published work without citation which of the following is a widely used plagiarism detection software in academic institutions turn it in what is the primary function of plagiarism detection software to identify unoriginal content and similarities to other works which plagiarism software is known for being open access viper what is the main purpose of the similarity index provided by plagiarism detection software to show the percentage of text that matches other sources what is copyright protection primarily designed to protect original creative works how long does copyright protection typically last for a work created by an individual the lifetime of the creator plus 70 years which of the following is not a requirement for a work to be eligible for copyright protection the work must be registered with the copyright office What is the purpose of the fair use doctrine in copyright law to provide guidelines for determining when the use of copyrighted material is permissible What is the public domain in the context of copyright works for which copyright has expired or been waived What is the primary function of DigiLocker to store and share digital documents Which initiative allows citizens to access healthcare service online e-hospitals What is e-pathshala primarily aimed at offering educational resources and materials Which of the following is a component of Digital India initiative aimed at improving electronic service delivery all of the above What does e-kranti focus on digital delivery of services The e-health campaigns in India primarily aim to enhance public service awareness and services Which of the following is not typically associated with DigiLocker online payment processing? E-hospitals primarily aim to facilitate online appointment scheduling and medical records management. Which platform is designed to provide access to educational content for students and teachers in India? E-Pathshala. What is the full form of SHIM State Health Information Management? Which of the following is a key goal of e-kranti initiative to ensure the delivery of government services electronically The e-health campaigns often leverage which of the following technologies all of the above DigiLocker can be used to store which of the following types of documents all of the above What is the significant benefit of e-hospitals for patients access to healthcare records from anywhere Which of the following best describes the impact of e-pathshala on education it improves a centralized platform for educational resources which of the following is the benefit of using e health campaigns improved public health awareness digilocker is a part of which larger initiative by the government of india digital india what type of information can healthcare providers access through e hospitals patients medical history and treatment plans e parshala is primarily targeted at which group students and teachers Which of the following is a key feature of SHIM initiative centralized health information management system What is the primary goal of the e-kranti initiative to enhance delivery of government services through digital means Which of the following statements about DigiLocker is true It allows users to share documents with government agencies E hospitals aim to reduce which of the following patient wait times Which of the following is an example of e-health campaign a program to increase vaccination rates through digital outreach What is the significance of integrating SHIM with other health initiatives to ensure comprehensive way health data management and accessibility Which of the following is a primary feature of e-pathshala access to digital textbooks and learning resources What type of data does SHIM 
primary knowledge, health information and records of patients. Which of the following is the benefit of using e-hospitals for healthcare providers? Enhanced patient data management. What is the key objective of the e kranti initiative? To promote the use of digital platforms for service delivery. Which of the following best describes the role of a digital digilocker in the education sector? It provides a platform for storing and sharing educational credentials. Credentials. Which of the following technologies is commonly used in e-health campaigns? All of the above. Which of the following technologies is commonly used in e-health campaigns? All of the above. Which of the following is the main goals of e-health campaigns in India to promote preventive health care and wellness? Digilocker is linked with which of the following government initiatives? Digital India.